What's going on beautiful people? It is your boy Bubba Feet back with a brand new video and well you guys already know by the title of the video and that is of course the collection video so let's jump right into it. Ah uh, Mr. Feet? Mr. Bob A. Feet? Sure, whatever. Alright ladies and gents, you guys are here for one and one thing only and that is of course this beautiful collection over here today. Yes, ladies and gents, I'm finally going to be doing an uh, unboxing, I'm sorry, unboxing, a collection video or a tour video, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to finally be doing it. It's been long overdue. Wave, I've been collecting for almost, I guess, almost two years now at this point. It's like a year and a half. And well, I should have done one when I first started doing YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for quite a while now. But uh, here we are today. It did not look like this at all. It was way different a year ago. I'll talk about that more later. But yes, ladies and gents, we are finally doing it. We got Legos. We got Master Replicas. We got helmets. We got Hot Toys. You guys, I know that's what you guys mainly are here for. But I will be showcasing all that. I'm very, very excited. So, but before we get into any of this, any of this stuff, of course, subscribe to your boy. Because uh, who else better to subscribe to? You guys like unboxing. You guys like Star Wars unboxing. You like all that good stuff. Well, who else better to subscribe to than your boy himself? Just click that little red button, that little bell notification. So, we, you know, when videos are out. Because uh, it really helps your boy out. And, of course, if you guys like this video. Because who doesn't like collection videos? Leave a thumbs up. Because uh, it really helps me out with the algorithm. So, I, one thing I want to point out. This is my room. I do not have an actual collection room. Not yet i will in the future have one but yes this is my room as you can tell this is my bed this is where the magic happens you know what i mean by that and of course this is my collection area of my room but yeah it is pretty it is my room so it's not that much space but hey i gotta work with you and i think i did a pretty good job with what i have right now so without further ado let's finally get into one of the sections of my collection that is of course the lego collection i'm gonna be going into the smaller portions first and then of course get into the hot toys last so without further ado let's get into it all right, so now we have my Lego collection over here. As you guys can tell, we have a nice variety of Legos. There's one up there. I didn't want to bring them down right now. But yes, we have a very, very nice selection of Lego um, sets that we have here. You know, we have the Nebulon B Frigate. I always forget how to pronounce that. We have the Bestman Dual Set, one of the best sets over here. And then we have, you know, the Lego Boba Fett area right here. So I'm gonna jump into them. I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. You guys already know. I do have a review on this one though. So if you guys wanna check that out, go ahead. But yes, going into the first one, we have the Lego Star Wars Boba Fett uh, collector helmet. I don't, yeah, I don't know what series it's from, but yeah, we have the this beautiful, beautiful piece. This was actually gifted by my wonderful, wonderful girlfriend from our uh, anniversary. And yeah, this was a must for me. I didn't really, Think of picking this up i forgot about it up until you know when my girlfriend gave it to me and well as you guys can tell um this was a really must for me because you know it's boba fett and well he's basically my favorite character of all time so yes very very nice piece and well just it's perfect right there and then of course jumping right into this behemoth of a freaking set we have the lego ucs slave one i meant boba fett's starship this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite Lego set of all time, just because, well, it's the slave one. Look how beautiful this thing is. This thing is ginormous, dude. And it's absolutely beautiful. As you can tell, my boy Boba Fett in there, just chilling in there. Absolutely beautiful. And you guys are probably wondering, what are all these minifigures, you know, doing here? Well, I did have them all lined up here, displayed, but they always kept falling down and falling in their face. And I didn't want that happening. And I was just like, might as well just put them here. And well, it works out for me. And I think it looks, it looks funny, but I mean. If it works, it works, you know? I'm gonna jump into them really quickly, um, just to describe each one. So over here, we have the prototype Lego Boba uh, minifigure over here. Very, very nice figure. Absolutely love that figure. Um, we have the Mandalorian, the new Mandalorian um, minifigure that came out in the Trouble on Tatooine set. Absolutely beautiful with that beautiful arm print and you see that there. And then of course, we have the Jango Fett over here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that printing on that figure. It's really, really nice. And then, of course, jumping onto this side, we have my boy, the Count. One of my favorite characters of all time in Star Wars. I just had to have this. Look at him. My boys look so cute, bro. He's so small. But yeah, had to have this dude. And then, of course, jumping into my favorite, if not one of my favorite pieces from Lego of all time, is the Chrome Darth Vader. I'm actually just take them off real quick just to show you guys real quick what these things are all about so it is right here we have the chrome darth vader over here absolutely beautiful this came out 
in 2005 six i don't know around that time as an anniversary piece or gift you know when they bought a certain amount they gave this for free or something like that i don't know exactly how but uh, this is an anniversary as you guys can tell it's an all black chrome um minifigure absolutely beautiful these are really hard to find now especially like new i got this used just because i wanted to display it and it actually looks beautiful these range around like i want to say 150 to like 200 bucks so they're pretty expensive yeah 200 bucks for just a little mi minifigure but i didn't pay that much thank god and well here we are today and he's in my collection so this is absolutely beautiful and then of course we have the holy grail of holy grails this is considered one of the most rarest minifigures or just like yeah lego minifigures in just all of lego not just lego star wars and this is of course the lego cloud city boba fett i had to have this because well like i said i mean you can just i mean come on dude like i mean this is was a, a must for me this thing is absolutely beautiful this it came out in i believe a 2002 set a cloud city i'll probably put a picture up here just so you guys can see what it comes from and you guys are probably um, well, you guys are probably wondering what makes it so special. Well, there's two things. There's one, of course, the price tag on this thing. And I'm just going to say it out here. This thing costs around seven to like 800 bucks from what I saw last. This thing is absolutely crazy. Seven to 800 bucks for this thing. This is actually crazy, bro. Like who spends that type of money? Not me because I did not spend that much. Thankfully, uh, it, I, you know, I still, st I, I did actually pay a pretty good amount of money for this, but this is way before that price jump. I did not get it anywhere near that price. And you guys are probably wondering what makes it that price. Well, it's practically one thing. It's printing. You see these arm printings right here and right here on the light printing. Yeah, that's literally what there's. That's literally what makes it that's so expensive. Literally back then in 2002, I think this was one of, if not the very first minifigures, like to get any type of arm printing or leg printing. You know, you can tell right here, this Mando does have um like printing and arm printing which is like i said it's very very beautiful they don't do that on most minifigures as you can tell right here but on this one like i said this was a it's first of its kind and well it's kind of a rare minifigure now so as you guys can tell this is absolutely beautiful and well i do not ever plan on selling any of these minifigures anytime soon so yeah there goes for for my minifigures right there i'm just gonna put them right there and oh full came off and now jumping into the set itself like i said ucs one absolutely beautiful just chef's kiss right there and of course jumping into this little mini set we have the lego best Men dual set that came out about a year ago i want to say yeah about a year ago so this is a very very nice set this was an exclusive for actually star wars celebration which didn't happen last year and well they, they made it an online exclusive for certain retailers like uh lego obviously and then target so this came out a variety of time, but it was very, it was limited. It was very limited. I believe they only like sold like 5,000, 10,000 of these, you know, compared to, you know, usual ones, but yeah, very, very limited. And well, here we have it today. Absolutely love it. I, Empire Strikes Back is my favorite, favorite movie. One of my favorite, if not my favorite movie of all time. And well, this scene is one of the most iconic film scenes in all of cinema, one of them. So I had to have this, my boy Darth Vader right there with that, like I said, arm printing, beautiful. And of course, my boy, Luke, you know, missing his hand right there. You can't see. Oh, there you go. He's missing his hand right there. So absolutely beautiful set. Uh, I did have this displayed up there. So I don't have all these like displayed right here. They're usually just on top of my shelves up there. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful set right there. And well, there you have it. So moving on to this piece over here, we have the Nebulon B Forget. It was a also a exclusive, but this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from 2020. But obviously, you know, that couldn't happen because of the pandemic. So it was also turned into like this one into a online exclusive. With this one, I do not like it as much as I love this one. This one is absolutely beautiful. But this one, it's like, it's all right to me. Like I said, it's another 40th anniversary as well as this one is. But... um. It's not really my favorite. It's kind of bland to me, honestly. I don't even know why. I, the only reason why I have it in my collection is just because of its rarity. Because, I mean, it's a exclusive thing and a lot of people wanted this. This was more... These sets right here were very, very controversial when it came to releasing them. And, well, thankfully, I was able to acquire both of them. And, well, like I said, this is a very all right set. I have them both displayed, one up there and then one up there. Yes, I see the holes. Don't just know. And, yeah you know it's just very um it's very blind to me i really could care less about this set right here honestly but yeah that's about it so moving on to my last 
lego collection that i have right now that is of course the lego atat -AT walker up there as you guys can tell i'm gonna be showing different you know clips of it right now but yes we have the lego atat -AT walker right there absolutely beautiful set at first i was really i could care less about that set but then you know as you know time went by i really grew on to me and well i was like you know what screw it. i'm gonna pick it up and well i do not regret it at all and i actually picked it up for like 100 bucks i think that thing costs like close to like 180 bucks 170 bucks so i think i got a pretty good deal out of that so yeah very very beautiful set lego at at walkers are absolutely or just at at walkers in general are really really dope so yeah that's my lego collection for you guys right there very small selection but i think it is a good amount or good variety of nice legos i would have more but like i said for space wise i do not have enough right now but eventually when i do i probably will i really want that ucs millennium falcon that thing is absolutely beautiful literally the only thing from stopping me from getting that space but yeah that's really it for my legos fun fact legos actually is what got me into star wars i remember i had a friend that you know was into Legos. He had a bunch of Lego Star Wars things. And well, that's how my love of Star Wars really grew through Star Wars and I mean, through Lego and all that good stuff. But yeah, enough of that stuff. Let's get into the next part of my collection. And that was of course my Master Replica Beauties right here. These things are absolutely beautiful. These are like my pride and joy. Like I, every time I look at these, I, I literally cannot believe I have these. These are one of the rarest pieces that you can get as a Star Wars collector as, at least I think, you know, these are just very, just so beautiful. Just look at that. but. Let's get into this one right here we have the star wars empire strikes back master replica lightsaber this is obviously darth vader's lightsaber from well my favorite movie or star wars movie empire strikes back and not only is it a replica version of that it is a signature edition if you guys don't know what that means it's basically signed by the actor or person who played that character and in this case it's james earl jones as you guys can tell my boy signed this thing real quick they only made 500 of these and I have number 144 out of 500. So this is a very, very rare piece. This thing came out in like 2002, I believe. So it's literally as old as me. Yeah, basically as old as me. And well, yeah, I have it here and this is absolutely beautiful. I had to, you know, once I saw this for sale, I had to jump on it. So yeah, that's one out of, you know, my Master Replica collection. And then of course we have this absolute beautiful. I think this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Like honestly, this thing is absolutely beautiful. We have the Star Wars Master Replica Count Dooku lightsaber signature edition, which is exactly like that one. Or in this case, this character, which was Count Dooku, was played by my boy, Sir Christopher Lee right here. Rest in peace to my boy. And of course, this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just Count Dooku, like I said earlier, is one of my favorite characters of all time in Star Wars. And well, his lightsaber is absolutely beautiful. His lightsaber is definitely my favorite lightsaber in all of Star Wars, next to Kylo Ren. And well, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Just look at that signature. And then of course, they did make a thousand of these and I have 116 out of a thousand. And well, this, like I said, very, very rare pieces. So yeah, these are my master replica pieces in my collection as of right now. I do plan on getting a few more. I plan on getting the Boba Fett Signature Edition Blaster, which I am, I think I'm going to get very soon. And if I do, I will make a video on that. And of course, I plan on getting the Empire Strikes Back Luke Skywalker Hilt Lightsaber with the signature of Mark Hamill. Those are my last two. I know after that, I'm done. Literally, I only want four pieces from Master Replica and that. I have two out of four already so you know or almost there very expensive i'm literally i don't even know like i it's i don't even know how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do it because i really want those pieces and well yeah so yeah like i said these are my master replica pieces that i have currently and well they're absolutely beautiful just look at them but yeah there we have it. but yeah like i said one last time that is my master replica collection as of right now and well it is very very small but it was probably my most expensive area of one of it right now so with that being said let's move on to the helmet collection so moving into my helmet collection over here i actually have two helmets it's not a big collection but i honestly told myself i can only have two and if i told myself i can have two well it had to be two characters that i really like and that is of course boba fett obviously and then of course kylo ren which is one of my favorite characters in all of star wars like right behind count dooku and boba fett so jumping right into this one first we have the efx boba fett pcr helmet from the empire strikes back film this thing is absolutely beautiful i love this thing with 
all my heart. Like I said, Boba Fett is one of my favorite characters of all time. And well, this was a must for me. This was actually um, one of my first, if not my first Star Wars collectible that I ever purchased. Like this was my very first purchase, but it was a pre-order. So I definitely got things way after. But yeah, this was my like very first purchase. And well, very, one of my very first purchases. And well, like I said, this thing is absolutely beautiful. You guys are interested in this. Actually, this was one of my first videos that I ever made on my YouTube channel. You guys can check that out. I'll probably put like one of those links up here or whatever. But yeah, if you guys want to check that out, go check that out. But yeah, very, very beautiful. Just honestly, just not, I mean, what more can I say about this? This thing is absolutely beautiful. And then moving on to the next piece that is, of course, the Rise of Skywalker Kylo Ren helmet. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This is actually a custom made helmet by my boy richard campbell from the facebook groups he actually like you know made this from by scratch you know he had all this basically but made by resin cast i think it was and then of course he had it painted all that and he actually included led strips because if you guys don't know in the rise of skywalker he has you know all these cracks and all that which you guys are probably wondering what is this thing over here well that is to power the led lights which i have yet to hide or figure out how to hide it in there but yeah if you turn this bad boy on just like that and boom thing looks absolutely beautiful just gorgeous i mean like i said kylo ren is one of my favorite characters of all time in star wars and well this was a must for me so obviously i think it's a money well spent for me at least and well this thing is absolutely beautiful i'm gonna turn this off because it's almost dead but but yeah this thing is absolutely gorgeous and well you guys are probably wondering why does this guy have a plaque and this guy doesn't well ladies and gents i have a very very special thing coming in and that is of course well ladies and gents i actually had that custom plaque by the boba fett one i had that custom made of course and of course i had to get one for the helmet but you guys are probably wondering where to go well you guys see this with these they have the signatures by the actors who will play them well i actually do plan on getting a signature by my boy adam driver yes adam driver the beautiful adam driver i plan on having him sign that plaque and well display with that helmet so very very soon i did actually you know have like one of those send in things and well i hope to get that thing send like signed very very soon and well displayed there so yeah that's why i don't have the plaque but yes ladies and gents we have my helmet collection here very very small but very very beautiful but with that being said of course ladies and gents you guys are here for one thing and one thing probably only that is of course my beautiful hot toys collection ladies and gents and you guys are probably wondering what type of shelves these are because uh, they are pretty nice in my opinion. Well, <laughs> and you guys are probably wondering what type of shelves these are. Well, these are the IKEA Billies with the Molarden doors, glass doors. These are very, very beautiful. Like I said, these I did not have. This is not how it looked like a year ago. A year ago, I had a totally different. I had details. And in my opinion, I don't like details. I really feel like they just look too cluttered. I don't know. They just... I don't know. I feel like you serve a more cleaner look in my opinion. And well, I think it, I think it looks really good. So, you know, with that being said, and the lights on these are actually some lights that I picked up from Amazon. They're not just your normal LED strips. Like they're actually like interchangeable ones. They're not the colored ones where you can change them to like a red, blue. No, I don't, I don't have any use for that. I just wanted one that had one that changed to a different white, you know, different tones of white. And you know, that's what it does. So it comes with this remote. Um, you can just put it like that, put it in night mode, you know, all that cool stuff. So really, really neat feature that this light came with. And well, I really like it. So like I said, that's really it. So now without further ado, let's jump into the figure that started it all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, jumping right into my very first figure that I ever purchased. We have the Hot Toys Boba Fett Empire Strikes Back. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I remember one day just asking myself, hmm. Would it be nice to have a Boba Fett, you know, collectible figure? I had no idea what one six scale, you know, any of that type of stuff was. And well, I found it and you know, that's where the loophole began. So this is one of my favorite figures, obviously of all time. Obviously this thing is beautiful. This flamethrower effect is actually from the Mandalorian uh, deluxe figure set. So this was a very nice. And then this dynamic pose was, was kind of from a different figure. So I have a, like two parts that are from different figures, but I really wanted to achieve something that, you know, it's obviously Boba Fett style. And I believe, well, look how badass he looks. Just look at him. He's fucking shit up right now. So yeah, that is it right there. So moving on to the next figure, we have the Hot Toys Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi 
absolutely beautiful this thing is beautiful 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 just i mean it's obi-wan kenobi i mean who doesn't love obi-wan kenobi very very nice figure right there and then of course we have the hot toys revenge of the sith commander cody and this is our very very first clone that has come out from hot toys as of lately most of the clones that you'll see in this are from sideshow but this is a hot toy and this thing is absolutely beautiful i've made videos on these figures before and uh, I, like i said in the video on this one this thing is absolutely beautiful like i said the weathering on this is just it's beautiful i mean what more can you say and it's a clone who doesn't love clones and of course moving down along we have one of my favorite figures of course and that is the director krennic from rogue one look at that health scope that thing is absolutely beautiful i mean this thing is beautiful and then of course in the back of him we have two death troopers one which is from the rogue one uh i guess uh one which is actually from the rogue one line that came out way way back before i was getting even into collecting which is the death trooper specialist right there absolutely beautiful piece right there and then of course we have the mandalorian one which i do like which is very very nice so yeah i mean this thing is absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry for the glare. I know you guys can see it, but that thing is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So moving on to the next figures, we have the Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker, deluxe figure. Absolutely beautiful. Just gorgeous, beautiful. I mean, who doesn't love Luke Skywalker? And then, of course, we have the A New Hope version of Han Solo, one of my favorite figures in my collection. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I just thought, you know, hey, these two look good together. I know they're from two different movies, but Hot Toys, we need the best bin version of this fool like literally i need that version that thing is absolutely beautiful but yeah we have these two right here and i think it looks pretty good very very beautiful figures so moving down to one of my favorite sections of my collection that is of course the clone boys over here as you guys can tell absolute beautiful like i did mention earlier i did mention that hot toys i'm sorry sideshow came out with clones way before this came out this came out like a few months ago where this came out i believe like years ago but even though it's old, I still think that they have aged perfectly well. Obviously, in comparison with the Hot Toys, obviously the Hot Toys is better, but they still look pretty well good. So jumping into this section right here, we have the Wolf Packs Troopers over here. Absolutely beautiful. We have a normal one right here, which came with a bunch of accessories, which is why, you know, he has a jet pack and then he has like the little backpack and a blaster there. Absolutely beautiful. Looks really, really dope. And then, of course, we move on to the next Wolf Pack trooper over here that we have right here that is of course commander wolf as you guys can tell this thing is absolutely beautiful you guys want to check out a video i have a video on this link will probably be here or whatever but we, absolutely beautiful just commander wolf you guys already know how it is commander wolf is one of the best clones out there not much screen time unfortunately on clone wars but one of the best looking clones out there as you guys can tell just beautiful i think side so really killed it with that one and then moving on to one of my favorite figures in my collection that is of course we have the 501st arc troopers of course my boy echo and my boy fives one of my favorite characters in star wars we all know how that went down every grown man cried when my boy passed but you know that's how it is sometimes the clone boys you know every clone had a life and it was just very very sad but enough of that yes we have the arc troopers over here these are very very beautiful these are just one of my like i said one of my prized possessions in my collection just beautiful if you guys don't know there is two versions of these there are the phase one versions of echo and fives and then there are the phase two ones which are you know these ones right here obviously these are way different than the phase ones these are when they are our troopers and they look so beautiful look how decked out they look just look so beautiful and just honestly beautiful and if you guys didn't know this these figures are absolutely really expensive I'm, and i'm not even joking like these are all the sideshow clones or most of them for at least are pretty expensive mostly these four right here but these ones are really expensive and it's it's really crazy how the market is like you can really tell how much people love clones like these two alone go for like close to like a thousand each to like 1100 1200 i've seen them go for a pretty high amount it's actually crazy but i got this way way back then and fun another fun fact this was my very very first youtube video unboxing that i ever did i did it on this figure right here and in that video, I did mention that I did get this as a gift, but I highly doubt whoever got this for me did not even pay that much or closely as much as what they're going for today. And then, of course, I did pick this up from my boy Dennis out 
and I'm not sure where he's located, but he did hook me up for this, you know, when I, and this was a amazing price. And not only did he sell me that, he did sell me this one as well, along with my dark side Anakin as well. So he gave me a heck of a deal, absolutely beautiful. And well, I mean, I couldn't pass up on it. So here we have my boys, the arc truck, uh, uh, I sound so stupid. The arc trooper boys right here, absolutely beautiful. And hey, maybe one day we'll see Hot Toys remake them, but I don't know, Hot Toys is something else. But yeah, moving down along, we have one of my favorite trooper. I know I see that. I still have yet to fix that. I kind of, you know, have that all there. But yeah, we have the short trooper from Rogue One. As you guys know, this is one of the rarest troopers out there right now. Yes, I know they are doing the reissues or basically releasing other variants of this guy. But over here, we have this beautiful, beautiful figure. Just absolutely stunning. I did get this for a pretty decent price, I guess. It was market price, but... It was way better than paying, I believe, what they're going for is like 800, 700 now. But yeah, this thing is absolutely beautiful. And once we get those two new variants, of course, your boy's going to be reviewing those. I'm going to display them with this, I think, Captain variant right here. And then moving on to one of my favorite figures, we have the Han Solo Mud Trooper over here. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And of course, my wonderful, wonderful girlfriend did actually give this to me for my birthday, which is a very, very nice surprise of her. Babe, if you're watching this, I love you. But yes. This thing is absolutely beautiful. As you guys can tell, I just love how this trooper looks. It just reminds me of like that World War II type stuff, you know, just very, very beautiful. So there you have it. And then moving on to this next shelf, we have the heavy infantry Mandalorian figure over here. This thing is ginormous. This is a big ass figure. My boy's so thick, look at him. But look at that blue. That blue is absolutely beautiful just beautiful the hype on this figure is absolutely crazy honestly i did not plan on picking this up but then you know you know how that waitlist thing happens you know i actually didn't pick this up on sideshow i literally when this thing went on waitlist this thing uh someone was selling it for below retail and i picked this up actually for below retail so i would say i couldn't really pass up on that and well you know here we have it today so moving up the shelf we have the og mandalorian over here absolutely beautiful beautiful figure with my boy grogu right there this was one of my favorite figures for sure i i remember if you guys haven't seen my mandalorian figure which is one of my favorite videos i've ever made i did not ever plan on picking this up i really didn't it was only the best car version for me but then you really see the you know just the quality on this figure just how it looks is just very very beautiful and honestly this was a must for me so and this actually is from the deluxe um mandalorian figure that came out recently and you know absolutely well that thing came with two and obviously i display this one with this one and well here we have it so very very beautiful piece and well here we have it and now moving up the next shelf we have the best guard version of mandalorian which is one of my favorite figures this thing is absolutely beautiful just look at that dude that thing is beautiful just i love this pose shout out to mark uh 16 photographer on instagram for this pose i know he has this pose i, I stole that pose i'm sorry but this thing is absolutely beautiful, dude. Just look at that. My boy Grogu right there just looking. I don't know. This is just, this This is, it's really hard in between these two right here. I don't know. I really love both of them, but I think I'm leaning towards the Beskar version, really. I know they're probably going to come out with another version, which I'm probably going to pick up. But, you know, just right now, I know I need to get that, you know, the other pieces for that and all that. But yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful figure right here definitely one of my favorite you know characters too i mean not as much as the other ones but you know who doesn't love din Djarin or whatever his name is and of course we have my boy darth vader over here just absolutely beautiful from the empire strikes back the four not the 40th anniversary version i did pick this up way before that that version came out but yes absolutely beautiful i'm sorry for that glare it looks i know it looks a little wonky and then you see myself there but yeah absolutely beautiful just love this simple pose but i mean just just look at him just darth vader is just one of my favorite characters and i actually did try to like correlate both of these two right here you know this empire strikes back hilt and then we have the empire strikes back version so you know kind of want to display it like that looks pretty cool i think so yeah very very beautiful and now moving on to my next shelf which is over here we have the rise of skywalker kylo ren absolutely beautiful one of definitely one of my favorite figures in my collection of course kylo ren in the rise of skywalker form is absolutely beautiful this thing is gorgeous i love this outfit i didn't plan on getting the last jedi version but then once they announced that they're coming out with this i was like 
you know what, I'm just gonna buy this version. And well, very, very well worth it. That head sculpt on this is very, very beautiful. If you guys haven't checked out my video, it's one of my most recent videos, you guys can go check that out. Absolutely beautiful, just stunning. And moving down to the next shelf, we have the dark side Anakin figure over here. This thing is absolutely beautiful. That base is actually really dope. I didn't actually plan on keeping this figure just because, I don't know, I really didn't have an interest for it. But then of course, as I got that guy right there, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep him. So here we have him right here with this base. I really don't like, you know, display bases like this where it's like uh, diorama bases because I'm not, I feel like they're just too cluttery. But honestly, I had, you know, I was like, you know what? He looks really good like this in this simple pose. And I think it worked out really well. So this is absolutely beautiful. Just look at that head sculpt right there. It looks like Hayden Christensen right there. And just, I love Anakin's outfit from Red to the Sith. It's really, really dope. And now moving on to the, the next shelf, we have one of my favorite characters. We have the Count right here. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. You guys, if you guys don't know, look at that head sculpt, dude. Looks like Christopher Lee right there. I have him in this very, very nice pose where he's just going to come out and just, you know, he's ready to pull out that lightsaber and fuck shit up. But look at him, dude. So I love Count Dooku just because of how calm he is. And just I feel like he's so underrated. But yeah, this was a definitely, definitely buy for me. And he's a lot more expensive than for what I paid for, I, you know, back then. It was a year ago I picked up this figure, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. And of course, moving on to the last shelf. We have my boy Darth, oh my God, that looks terrible. I need to fix that, I'm so sorry. We have my boy Darth Maul from A Phantom Menace right here. My boy's a menace, bro, look at him. Just absolutely beautiful. I didn't plan on picking him up, but then, uh, you know how it goes with Hot Toys. Hot Toys, you know, it just always ends up like that. So yeah, we have him in this very, very nice pose. I did plan on making a video for him, I probably will eventually, but here we have him right here. We have him with this big ass display base right there and yeah we have my boy looking just real menacing right there just absolutely love that pose i think it looks really really dope like that and now moving on to my next display case which is where i actually keep all my helmets we have the scout trooper from the mandalorian this thing is absolutely beautiful this thing is just i honestly did not plan on keeping this thing but honestly i mean why wouldn't i this thing is absolutely beautiful you guys already see my review on this I mean, it speaks for itself. This thing is an absolute beast, bro. Look at that. And that Scout Trooper, this thing is beautiful. And my boy Grogu right there, just smiling, getting kidnapped and all that, being happy and stuff. One thing I did forget is that these things actually had magnets. I did not put that in my review and I still have it to take them out because that box is so big and I just left it in the box. So I left that at that. But yeah, very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful figure. And just, I mean, if you guys have the chance to pick this up, go ahead and pick it up. And then last but not least, we have the Rey Skywalker. Ha, sorry. We have the Rey from the Rise of Skywalker over here. Very, very beautiful figure. In all honesty, like I said, I do not like Rey as a character, but this is an amazing figure. Honestly, though, I do not plan on keeping this. I'm probably going to sell it soon just because, um, I don't know. She just doesn't really fit my collection. And well, it's not really an important figure to me. So, but overall this thing is absolutely beautiful i mean just look at that head sculpt it actually looks really really dope so yeah it's pretty much it and then we have dio right there pretty cool little accessory i guess you would call it or i don't know figure whatever but yeah very very nice figure but um yeah for all you ray fans raylo fans that's a pretty dope figure so yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to my hot toys collection i do have some empty space there for you know, all the pre-orders that I have, I know it may not be in love, but I do plan on moving like figures here and there, making space, you know, those spaces there, I can fit like up to three figures in there. So it'll look pretty dope. But yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to just my collection in general. This thing, I think I've done a pretty nice job of displaying it. And well, I think, you know, looking at it now, to me, I feel like I don't have like a lot of figures, but um, obviously to a normal person, it'll be like, holy shit, you have a bunch. But yeah, you know, with those hot toys things coming in obviously there's gonna be more and you know eventually i'm gonna have to figure out how i'm gonna be displaying all of them but i think for now i'm good but yeah with that being said i think i have a pretty nice collection um you know i think it's pretty cool to be able to have something like this i remember as a kid always like looking at youtube videos like you know seeing people have their collections like this and now being able to like have my own I think it's a pretty surreal experience. I get, every time I wake up, I can't believe that I actually have things like this. So it's always really dope to me to always like see stuff like that. And well, I really wanted to share it with you guys. So 
with that being said if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like because it really helps your boy out the youtube algorithm and let me know what you guys think you know what's something that you think is cool in your collection and you know if you guys have your own collection let me know what you guys have in your guys collection because you know i like interacting with people it's cool but and yeah subscribe to your boy because who else better to watch you know all these dope videos with than your boy himself because uh like i said you guys like all this type of stuff and like unboxings and all of that i do all that type of stuff especially hot toys you know all those new star wars figures you know i'm gonna be there day one baby i'm gonna be doing that shit and i'm gonna be putting all that good uh, content for you guys out there but yeah i'll probably be doing an updated collection video by the end of the year just to showcase what's different what's not you know what's what's changed in my collection but until then ladies and gents Thank you for watching, and of course, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.